Hey, how you doing? Uh, extremely worn out, Pat, here. Uh, I wanted to come to you here and, and let you know about this route that I just did. It's a waterfall tour here in uh, upstate Vermont. I didn't create the route, but I'll pin it in the first link down below. I figured I'd come to you after I got done riding it. It's taken me, I don't know, five, six, seven hours. Probably shouldn't have started it this late in the day, but it's 6.40 p.m. local time. And I just want to tell you, if you want to do this route, maybe give yourself two days. If you want to see all the waterfalls, you're going to have to hike a bit. I did not do that. But if you want to do it, that would be great. And if you do not want to ride gravel, there's parts of this route you're going to want to skip. If I mess this up, I ought to put a correction somewhere up here, but you'd want to skip points 11, 12, and 13. That's on gravel. Points 19 and 20. That's kind of a rough gravel road. And then just the last points of 57 through 60 coming down dump road, that turns into gravel. All right, if I haven't lost you yet, stay tuned and let's get into this ride. Thanks first few miles of the route we're getting ready to turn here on lovers lane down in the first uh, comment i will have pinned a uh yeah a link to this uh route all you got to do is become a free member nope not that road a free member of uh my route app and then you can download these but one thing you cannot do as a free member is use the app to navigate in case you're interested oh hey oh uh, nope it's not dirt it's just a really torn up uh, chip and seal road i believe this route's supposed to be all pavement i forgot to look at the details Okay, this is not on the map, but uh, if you need it, like I just did, here at the intersection of Lover's Lane and uh, Vermont 12, there is a mobile gas station. Well, unfortunately, we're doing just a uh, few miles of interstate. We're going to get off on exit 7 here. All right, we're making a loop down here. Let's see what this says. Upper Marshall Field Falls. Okay. Well, not that it matters to me a whole lot. But, uh, this is gravel. So if gravel's your thing, I would not recommend this. If you're on a street bike and you don't want to do gravel, even though today, uh, what is today? July 3rd, 2024, it's very good hard pack. Hope I'm not going the wrong way. I think I'm going the wrong way. I am. Should have went the other way. Yeah, I didn't see any one-way signs. Hey, I think I found it. I almost missed it. So yeah, if I would have made the right to come up this road like I was supposed to, it would have been right here on my left. Got to admit, I've really enjoyed uh, all these little New England towns like this. Here's where I made a couple changes to the original route. If you do not want to go up this gravel road, and I would not recommend this one for cruisers because later on it does get kind of rough. Just skip to waypoint 22 
and uh, you'll miss all this. To go see this waterfall, you need to go for a short hike anyways, yeah, which I did not do. I doubt I'll be able to stop on the road like I did last time if there's something to see. Construction. Hey, if a Tesla can do it, right? Ugh. Wow, that's rough. Holy moly. I just thought I'd bring this up. It has turned into a one-lane road now. So if this isn't your cup of tea, I would recommend you turn around if you do the uh, Stop 19 waterfall. And just go back out. How's that for a steeple, huh? Black Cap Coffee, the author of this route, suggests stopping there for coffee break. I'm not going to. But something about this road, it must get, uh, I don't know if it's super windy or tight or what, but there's been a few uh, no big truck signs on the uh, alongside the road, up to a $4,000 fine. Interesting. I, I'm guessing even though this is ski country, it's still a major tourist area even in the summer because traffic has been crazy. I don't know if it's just because of 4th of July. If you know, put something in the comments. All right, if your truck don't fit through here, you can't make it up this road evidently. That's kind of a unique way of doing it. Huh, that's kind of cool. I like his lights. It's pretty. I can see why they say no trucks. I wouldn't recommend an RV either. Just the low overhanging branches with your RV might screw stuff up on your roof. I still think this is Vermont 100. Yeah, that's what the uh, GPS says. It's still Vermont Road 100. I mean, I would call this a state highway, but woohoo, is it narrow? <laughs> I like it though. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting that. Good on them for honking. Surprise, I lied. Cool. Have to make a correction. It's Vermont 108. So it is not Vermont 100. So it's Vermont 108 that has that really tight section of road. All right, just had lunch here at Papa McKee's. I think this is Richmond, Vermont. It was a good place to stop. Friendly staff, good pizza. I recommend it if you do this trip. This is just past the uh, stop 31 that uh, the originator of this trip has planned for a coffee break at the gas station behind me. Okay, onward. This route tells you to make a left on this road and something about some potholes and there's parking on the right, but uh, evidently all that's changed since this route was developed. So I would suggest you just skip point 32 and continue on to point 33, which is basically staying on two east here. No need to make this left on Bolton Valley Access Road. Looks like I missed the circus. I'm assuming that'll be tomorrow for the 4th of July. 
I got to share this rail bridge, mainly because I'm a rail fan, but uh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. A lot of these towns are going to have closed roads tomorrow on the 4th of July, so if you happen to be planning this trip around the 4th of July, keep that in mind. Lake community and kind of camping back here on, uh, what are we on, Vermont 53? Clearance nine feet six inches. Ooh. All right, as we come to an end here, I would appreciate it if you've liked this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please mash that subscribe button down below. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of Vermont. I just kind of wish I'd have come up with it. All right. Thanks again. And uh, it'll be pinned in the first comment if you want to uh, look at this route for yourself. Thanks a bunch. I appreciate it. See you in the next video.